Okay, hi guys. Um, Suzy Yule Diadem. I'm glad and I'm grateful to God that I am here, you there. I'm able to talk to you. You're able to talk to me also through your um, through your, your comments, through your inbox and any other channel that you can use to communicate to me through your calls. Yes. Yeah, I appreciate the fact that we have an opportunity to live a life and to talk to each other. This channel, we said it's all about positivity, living positive regardless. Doesn't really matter at the point at which you are in life, but we keep it positive all along. And now, this moment, I want to just have a light moment, to share a light moment together. As we share a light moment, we talk of something that is uh, that is that has different opinion to different people. Because I want to talk about money in relationship. Yeah, so I want to ask myself and maybe to ask you and to think around how important is money, how important is finances in a relationship. Uh, the other time when I was doing about what ladies want and what men want, there is no no no, no point that uh, that the, the issue of finances came out uh, so openly. And um, though for some ladies commented to me later and asked me, why didn't you tell men we want men with money? Okay, of course, uh, those who did, they did it on a light note. I hope I got it right so that they don't fight again and tell me. We were not joking. We were serious about it. Uh, but for me, that they, they were saying it lightly. Uh, but I think it's also important for us to think how important is money in relationship or finances in a relationship. Uh, because what I'm thinking is... Uh, uh, we've people have had different different um, experiences in life, and uh, people have the things they have set for themselves and how they would want to live their life, what they want to do it with their lives at a certain age, at a certain point in life. And I remember even in my videos, one time I talked of um, the misconception of love, and I say there was a time I thought that uh, when a man is 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 when a man is not financially so stable uh you can that is the best that is the ideal man to start a relationship with because i was thinking by then i was thinking that you will grow with this man you build your life together you look for finances you look for resources you build up a life together and i thought that was the ideal situation to have a successful relationship until nearly grow up and got character development and he realized Hmm. It's not always the case. There are people who grow together, yes, they start from nothing, they get to somewhere and they enjoy life. Yeah, we've had testimonies of people who have built their life together. However, um, the case, their cases can't be used as uh, to, to, to say that that is really the, the, the map, that is really the way to go. Uh, so, um, because for me, my feeling is, at some point in life, resources are important. The reason as to why I'm able to record this is because I have bought a phone. The reason I'm able, you are able to listen to me is because you have a phone. So if you didn't have cash to buy that phone and I didn't have cash to buy this phone, then, so it is important as much as we want to say, oh, I'm not materialistic, oh, I don't want to look at this. I think just to be, to be fair and to think rightly, Money is important. And uh, I think the only thing we might say is it's not really... Okay, someone else was telling me that money is not the main issue or the main idea in a relationship. It's not the main thing. It's not the main drive. Uh, it, then they told me it is important. However, it shouldn't be the main drive. And me, my feeling was it is a main drive. Only that it should not be the only drive. But for me, I would say it is the main. It is among the main, among the main things. Um, I've, I've, I've had people say that when, they, when, when people are feeling the, 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 the pain of a, maybe a broken relationship or a broken marriage, I've had people say and repeat that the way we came far from that person, the way I took that lady, she was not in school, so you mm -hmm. took her to school, I did ABCD, and then finally she still left me for another person. 
then I've had ladies who have said, the way I found that guy broke, we built our life together, we slept on the floor, we, we, we started on a very uh, <laughs> a funny, funny story, eh? like my, my, my story one time I dated a guy and um, after, three, after three months of our, of our start of the date, he got sacked. So I took it upon myself to help him. I would chip in in paying rent. I would chip in in doing shopping for him because we don't want him to go back to shags. So doing shopping for him to sustain him. So you feel like all those things that you've been doing, you did for them, you didn't deserve a heartbreak from them. Shock on us or shock on, on everyone in life. You can do everything that pertains to, 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 to being patient or rather uh, being good or like you can do anything to humble yourself for a relationship to work and then it still doesn't work so it's not a sure bet that when you when you don't have resources then you grow together that that relationship will grow because by the time we were parting with the guy he already had a job he was doing well financially and all that so maybe i would have felt ah because we grew together and all these he will never break my heart. But unfortunately, it's a lie. If it you, was never meant to be, if they are heartbreakers, they'll still break you, your heart. And so uh, my feeling is uh, money is very important. And if you're not able to, if you can't afford a meal for yourself, then there is no reason as to why you want to have someone in your life like seriously um i don't know how how this one will be received or how you're receiving this my viewers because for me i think um, especially for marriage maybe for a relationship okay nisawa we can manage uh meeting for dates and not eating anything maybe it's just taking water i'm going to a hotel where we can afford cheap meals i think that's okay but in marriage where now we are going in the house we are sleeping five days or rather uh, we are sleeping nine uh, nights without food we are we don't have rent we don't like seriously why then why because you realize what i have realized when i have spoken to many ladies as we share with ladies you realize nikiwa kwetu ama nikiwa not even kwetu when i'm living on my own uh, probably I'm in a cupboard sitter with my herbal life, but I don't sleep hungry. At least I pay rent. At least even if I don't have guomingi za kuchej, I have four clothes, dresses that I can put and look decent. Uh, but now you come and you convince me to come and live with you. Then we start living with you. You can't pay rent. You can't. Oh, no, no. Okay, well, not you, but us. Us together, we're not able to pay rent. We're not able to buy food. Now we are sleeping hungry. And when I was alone, I wasn't sleeping hungry. When I was alone, I was paying my like, small house. But now because we are married, we moved in Siji to a good, a better house. And really, why, why in the first place did we have to do that? Because I'm feeling that um, marriage or relationship has never and can never be an emergency. It can wait as long as, I don't know, as long as to what point in life. So why then should we start talking of herbal backgrounds? You know, these herbal beginnings, yeah, but I think there should be standards. There should be limits as to how humble, <laughs> as to how humble we can start. Let's not start by, you can't afford a mattress or rather a bed, so we sleep on the ground. Uh, we go, like I remember myself, uh, when I was dating my financially troubled guy then, <laughs> he would take me out or rather he would want us to meet and because now we can't meet in the house because, um, so he, we would agree, tunenda pale bob last, tunalipa 20 bob. <laughs> We used to pay 20 bob entrance ya kuingia hapo. Alafu, hatuna kitu ingine, like niyo 10 bob too. 
like why were we going there okay the feeling was good <laughs> sleeping on the ground kuchapa story nini nini kudaganywa vile nita nitajengewa nyumba kubwa nitanunuliwa gari na tuna hata pesa yako well <laughs> maybe <laughs> I think what do you think I think this story um, it's it's a long story that we need to talk eh? let's talk about this let's talk about this hello ama what do you think guys I think we should talk about this <laughs> like why why should you you know it would have been okay if I was in a relationship like your Saturday <laughs> I spent it in the house ni fue ni tulia ni lale this day is trago kubwa ni Oh my god. And then baadaye unajua afadhali hata you pass all those things and you are sure that the relationship will work. Kuliko you pass all those things mnavumiliana then mtu tu bado anaku hati break. Like surely bado many hati break. After kuka oh my goodness. I don't know kama my ex anaweza watch ya manaweza ajiulize. <laughs> Eh, hey, we were meeting na una hata una hata kitu tunaweza kula lunch like. Sita I mean ningekuwa kwa nyumba mimi ningepika lunch. <laughs> But maybe for someone else or rather by then I was thinking or I was feeling hiyo tu kukaa na yeye kupiga story kudaganywa vile napendwa mimi kumdaganya okay mimi sikuandaganya so mimi kumwambia ukweli vile <laughs> nampenda maybe that was worth it maybe that was worth the sacrifice because anyway seem to you fast but today i think me i feel like stucky like kama watu hizi afford kukula wacha tu kila mtu akae kwake kwa nyumba to text yani to be maybe hata credit at una so to text yani to i love you i love you and that is it because i think okay but also i think it comes with age because today i think i value sleep sana i would rather spend my saturday afternoon asleep rather than ninde nikachomwe na jua pale last nimelipa 20 bob nichomwe na jua hapo nikisikiza ukiniambia vile unanipenda alafu hata sijika hiyo love itaenda far like okay sijui kama I'm, i'm spreading negativity in this one you know this channel is about positive living so i don't want to spread anything against uh, the policy of this channel but i'm just i'm just thinking out i'm just trying to think and how important is money in a relationship because i think today i feel like money like okay, i feel like it is i don't want to i feel like it is important i feel like i don't know uh, so 